In the Adventure Time episode The Diary, Jake's son TV stumbles across an old diary that happens to contain the tortured teenage musings of an unknown girl. TV is utterly gripped by the passion and angst the author poured into her writing and ends up going on a journey of his own as a result. I'm not going to be focusing on that episode here though. I'm going to be focusing on a question I think this episode raises. Is it helpful to write purely for yourself? Is it meaningful? According to Psychology Today, keeping a simple journal daily or just once a week can have mental health benefits. This might be a gratitude journal where you write down what you are grateful for, or even expressive writing, a type of journaling intended to give you greater awareness of your emotions. While journaling is a common and potentially helpful writing project, perhaps you want to get a bit more creative. Sometimes even professional writers experiment with personal writing projects that they intend to keep to themselves or only share with friends. In some cases, these personal projects were the inspiration for works that became famous, as was the case with J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien's interest in languages led him to develop a mad hobby, his words, of inventing his own. Even as a child, Tolkien had friends with whom he communicated in made-up languages. One childhood project of his was Nafarin, a Spanish-influenced language with its own system of phonology and grammar. Perhaps it was these childhood games that gave Tolkien the confidence to share his unusual creativity with others as an adult. Regardless, the languages he invented eventually led him to create his own mythologies and stories, without which he never would have written and published his best-known work, The Lord of the Rings. Across the Atlantic, American science fiction writer Philip K. Dick, most famous for writing the story that inspired the movie Blade Runner, had a personal writing project of his own. He called it Exegesis, a collection of personal speculations about the nature of reality. According to those who knew him, Dick thought of Exegesis as perhaps his most important work. Speculations about the nature of reality were a key part of Dick's science fiction novels. Apparently he had so many thoughts about the nature of reality that he found it helpful to essentially journal about his ideas in exegesis. According to those who knew him, Dick was happiest when jotting down new exegesis entries, which he often did every night. Returning back to the Adventure Time episode, The Diary, spoilers, but in the end we find out that the drama-filled, angst-ridden teen diary TV found was written by the younger version of the reliable and hard-working Nurse Poundcake. She used her diary to express and deal with the emotions she was experiencing during her teenage years. And that drives home the point that a personal writing project can be valuable for anyone. If you're receptive to taking moral lessons from a 10 minute cartoon that is. Regardless, whether you're a budding fantasy writer like Tolkien or a practical person with a down to earth job like Nurse Pound Cake, whoever you are and whatever your aspirations may be, your creative expression can be productive and valuable, even if it's just for you to enjoy alone. Have a great day and thank you for watching.